and that is use your time wisely on Facebook dip in and out as far as there is a necessity and then leave it don't feel pressure to tell everybody everything that you are doing we don't always need to know that you are now going to the shop to buy a pint of milk or I'm off to the chippy now or my father was so mean I need a coach right and then and then they say to her they say to her inbox me babe right and then she's thinking I got it this is how shaitan works with us do we have this much time on our hands to give people profile status updates over every move and step and thought that's going through our mind wallahi ikhwan sell me some of your time I wish I wish time can be sold in the auction I would take alone because I probably cannot afford it and I would buy that time do we have that much time on our hands inni la yahillu li an udayya sa'atan min umri ibn aqil says I have made it impermissible for myself to waste a single hour of my life al hasan al basri said ya ibn adam inna ma anta ayyam fa idha dhahaba yawmun dhahaba ba'duk aw son of adam you are made out of days Therefore, if a day leaves you, part of you has left you. We think that we are made out of blood and flesh and bones. Al-Hasan, the scholars of Islam would say, no, you're made out of time, you're made of hours. If a hour leaves you, that's part of you that's gone for good. It's never ever going to come back. You are made out of time. What are you doing with your time? Imagine yourself, brothers and sisters, running, running to a family, your family, your wife and your children who are, who are on the brink of dying from thirst and you have a bucket of water, how fast will you be running to get to them before they die? Now imagine, imagine there is a hole in that bucket and you put your hand at the hole and water is coming out from your fingers. How would you feel to see that water dripping, right? This is our analogy here on earth. We are all running towards the hereafter. Whether in the right or wrong direction, we're running that way. And time is falling away. Hours are falling away. Years are passing. And we're not doing anything about it. What are we doing with our time? And the people of the fire, they scream, begging Allah for a second chance. What does Allah tell them? Time. You had time. أَوَلَمْ نُعَمِّرْكُمْ مَا يَتَذَكَّرُ فِيهِ مَنْ تَذَكَّرُ وَجَاءَكُمُ النَّذِيرُ Did we not give you lives long enough time? Did we not give you lives long enough for you to receive admonition if you wanted to receive it? And didn't the warner come to you? What is the warner? Some of the scholars say the warner is the Prophet ﷺ and others of the scholars like Akrimah said the warner is gray hair. Did the warner not come to you? Did gray hair not come to you warning you that you're dying? <laughs> May Allah extend your life, brother David. <laughs> he is laughing at me, I didn't say anything. <laughs> May Allah give us long lives. Time is the most valuable commodity that you possess. They say time is gold. This is incorrect. Time is more valuable than gold. Gold comes and goes. Time when it goes, it has gone for good. That second that just clicked on the clock, that ticked on the clock, will never come again. But you can be happy for those two or three or five seconds because you are in the masjid. But the question is when you leave the masjid, what will you do? Your time, my brothers and sisters. Dip in and out of the social media as far as necessity entails. Then leave it and focus on something productive for your deen or your dunya.